Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll explore how to get better parallelism in Rust. Before we dive into optimizations, let's spend a minute and understand why do we even need parallelism. Let's take a look on our first example. We have a list of numbers from 0 all the way up to 5 million. And then we do a sum operation. At the end, we print the sum and how long it took for the computation. Now let's run our program. So we have a sum and the time spent. So right here for the computation, we spent 20 milliseconds. Now 20 milliseconds might sound a very little time, but if you look at the operation, it's just sum up the numbers from zero to five million. So it should be more quick. And let's see how can we make it more quick. Now, while there could be tons of ways to optimize this code, but for today, we'll focus on parallelism. And now we have the same program, but computation in parallel. We have the same list which start from zero and go all the way up to 5 million but we divide our data in four chunks and we process each chunk in a separate thread to sum so instead of a single thread doing all the computation now it's divided into the data is divided into five four chunks so five million is divided in four chunks and then each each chunk is processed in a separate thread and we are using uh, atomic reference counting and mutex here we have discussed atomic reference counting for you know shared access and mutex for locking in tons of different videos and even in the last video we did some mutex optimizations so make sure to check it out the videos should be popping on your right top and at the end just like in our uh, basic program we just you know print the sum as well as the time and let's go ahead and run this remember the basic one took around 20 milliseconds now we are down to 9 milliseconds whereas the sum stays the same so we are able to perform the same job in half the time but can we reduce it more or even can we simplify our code because this code looks a very complex jargon which most devs would want to avoid and even avoid it the cost of optimization let's see how can we optimize the same and get better or equal results for that we'll be using a crate which helps us with parallelism just run cargo add rayon and we'll work with rayon for uh, better parallelism and here you go now this might look the same code as we discussed in the basic single thread version but no that's not the case this is the faster one and again we have the same list start from zero go all the way up to five million but all the magic happens right here all the complex jargon that we had in the previous program where we split up the data into four chunks and then you know process them parallelly and at the end we showed the result but everything is now inside this par iter. Basically, par iter automatically splits the data across multiple threads and process the elements in parallel using rayon thread pool. So we don't have to manage the threads pool or join and stuff. We don't have to care about all that complex jargon. All we have to do is apply this. Let's see how much faster is this. So all we do is just run this. And there you go. Same result. But as you can see, we have bring it down all the way to 3 milliseconds but started at 20 plus or 20 milliseconds and then get go down to around 9 or 10 odd milliseconds right here but now we have bring it down all the way to 3.8 milliseconds rayon is a very powerful grid and comes up with tons of similar other parallel operations that you can perform all you have to do is write par and then here you can see either drain extend split uh, chunks windows there is sort as well so basically you can perform all of these operations parallelly and some of these are unsafe as well which is also added that it's unsafe or unstable but again uh, you can try out all these and let me know in the comments what do you think about this because it's pretty straightforward you know you don't have to spend a lot of time writing or correcting your code all you have to do is use this extension functions uh, from this freight and there you go that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understood and learned something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye bye